Buddy, welcome to MMORPG.com stream of the Secret World Beta. I'm Bill Murphy. I'm shooting video. And we are playing the Secret World, as you can tell from my character. You can also right use there. the camera button to take photos at the same time. The HTC One. Available from I'm Google. amazed. Because there are already what, eight of you watching? You really want this stuff. I'm shooting video. I can also use the camera button to take photos at the same how time. How about that shit? Yeah, how the about HTC that shit? One. <laughs> Available from T-Mobile. How you guys doing? Everybody doing good? <clears throat> oh, man. I'm tired. I did not get much sleep last night. I don't know why. I'll let you guess. I'm actually live in vent with uh, Sarkan, who's one of our... Uh, one of our guildies here at the MMORPG.com guild. Say hi, Sarkan. Hello. There he is. Um, he's on vent, so I don't know if he's watching the stream or not, but he won't be able to hear me unless I press shift. Hey, you might uh, consider watching the stream, because I won't always be pressing shift, Sark. Uh, it's up on the webpage. Yeah, it's on the webpage. If you go to mmorpg.com slash streams.cfm. In fact, I'll put that up too. Thank you. It is a nice hat. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I've already created... Um, a Templar, and I play with him a lot, but I'm actually going to make it Illuminati, because I'm going Templar uh, in the live release, and I don't want to spoil too much. I hope that's okay with you guys. We're going to try Illuminati. We can't try the dragon yet. How's my volume now? Your volume's pretty decent, Sark. You could be a little louder. I could Maybe I'm just hard of hearing. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. It's like, I'd say about 50% of what I sound like. Dragons rule. No, Templars. The old ways are best. I usually don't have problems with volumes, and I usually keep my headphones hanging up. I don't even put it next to me like I have it now. Well, let's ask. Let's ask the uh, the people watching. Can you guys hear Sarkan when he talks? It might just be my headphones. <laughs> Witch trials aren't my thing. That's okay. It's okay. We're not. We're not those kind of Templars. That's a different, different Templar. <laughs> Um, Skywise, Skywise Knight, which is Evan Wilkinson, our web designer, he says he can't actually hear you either, Sark. So keep playing around with your, your mic volume, maybe boost it. I'm not sure what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take a look at it. You said streams.cff? That's it. MMORPG.com slash streams.cfm. <laughs> the tree's growing? I don't think so. I didn't mean for it to grow. Okay, so we said Templar. Now screw the Templar. Can't do the dragon. We're going with the Illuminati. And I'm not one of those dudes. Was the white on there before? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, that's not white. That's not white. That's a. It's a shiny plastic thing on my wall. And since there's sunlight coming in through the window, it's making it look white. Hmm. Anyway, okay, Illuminati. I don't really play chick characters, so we're not going to do the chick. We're good. Oh, that is... He looks awful. Who who designed that guy? Uh, anyway, let's... <laughs> let's mess around, huh? Go with facial traits. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the sunglasses for now. And I have a very specific character in mind. Funcom did tell us, after we wrote our preview yesterday, that these are very basic... Uh, character creation options, which is kind of sad because you'd think that the first public beta they would want you to see more of the options, but I guess they're holding them in reserve. So we'll just have to wait and see. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with green eyes. Let's see, a nose. There's only a few noses. I need a big one. I have a very that's a pretty decent nose. I like that one better. Yep. Lips. I need, uh, do they have mustaches in this game? I hope so. I think that one. 
You'll see what I'm going for here in a minute. Like that. That's pretty good. And hair and makeup. They have just a big part. I want a big... Oh, uh, that's pretty good. With brown. Yep. Facial hair color, also brown. I'm going to be playing for at least a couple hours at Candyland. Yeah, LR Cubed, I kind of agree. I wish there was more, more uh, or better character creation this first time. But hopefully later betas. No, there's got to be a better. That's a pretty good mustache. It's not as thick as I want it, but it's going to have to do. Let me go with that. Okay. Sunglasses? Mm, could go with the sun. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the sunglasses on this in this case. Get rid of that. We need a shirt. That's going to be the shirt. <laughs> Just need some blue jeans. There we go. And... What about back? See, I, I really... There's a specific thing I'm, I'm going to make, and you'll see when I make his name. I just wish that they had more options so I could really make him. <laughs> That's true. Be Elvis. I'm not going for Elvis. You'll see. Those boots are probably the best option. There's a couple things I want. I wanted, I wanted a flannel shirt. I wanted blue jeans or khakis. And I wanted work boots like this. And I wanted a fedora hat, which isn't in yet either. So, anyway, let's create the name. Ron, nickname. Duke Silver Swanson. Ron, Duke Silver Swanson. Can you make a, can you make a space? No, no spaces. Duke Silver. Hope you guys like Parks and Rec. That's all I care about. The open beta has more options in clothing department? Oh, that's kind of cool. At least that's good to know. And you know they're going to fill their store with clothing options. You know they are. <laughs> it's just going to happen. All right, let's play as Ron Duke Silver Swanson. <laughs> I absolutely love the idea that you can give yourself a first and last name and a nickname. It's so funny. How you guys doing? This is the beginning. We'll just watch it. Turn up the volume a little. But there are... Keep in mind that the nickname is the only one that's the fixed name. Yeah, the nickname... It's true. The nickname is the only one that, like, if you wanted to find somebody as a friend, you have to go by their nickname. The other two are sort of just for flavor. That's not Ron Swanson. It's interesting because um, I think this is the exact same beginning for the Templar, too. I don't know if there's a way to show all three names. We'll, we'll take a look at the UI when I get in. I know when you go to your character page, you can see all three names. Well, in this in Candyland, in this one, you have the surnames, but you don't have to use the surname to look somebody up. They're sort of just fluff for the character to call themselves by a, a first and last name. It's only that nickname that you need to find somebody. Like, you would only have to look me up by looking up Duke Silver. It's crazy. I do like the cinematics so far. 
You thought it looked awful? <laughs> His eyes being closed? Or the, like, go getting glown up? Oh. Like the character itself? What do you mean, Skywise? Okay, I look a little Asian. I look a little bit like Don Ho. That's not quite what I was looking for. <laughs> Lois, I'm playing the secret world live on MMORPG.com. <laughs> Okay, that's a different. Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Time is ticking. <laughs> Go with that. Just keep streaming as Peter Griffin. I could put like his face in the lower, <laughs> in the lower corner. Under the options, the only thing that allow you to display is your nickname. There's no way to get everything up there. Fabric of space and time basis thaumaturgy. My client is only interested in. <laughs> hey, button man, how are you? Protection, power, the best party. So we can see the Illuminati are all about money and power. It's kind of cool. Sure, I like the Templar better. Boys and girls, to rule the world, it's up to you to grab that opportunity by the balls. I think the hair in this game is a little wonky too. It's just strange looking. Uh, can you guys hear the game? I hope uh, I hope you can. I'll turn it up a little bit if you can't. I gotta mess with the sound settings. Illuminati. You like the Illuminati? I'm, I'm a Templar guy. It's exactly what it looked like, Pope. <laughs> Only Neo with an accent. Neo with a New Yorker's accent. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should get a better barber. It's New York City. There's like Vidal Sassoon and stuff everywhere. Ah, okay, awful. I'll turn up the, the in-game volume a little bit. I just don't want it to drown out my dulcimer tones. <laughs> now Don Ho's Hawaii Five O song is in my head. <laughs> I'm on a loading screen. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> okay, before we go, let's go to... Turn it up a bit. Okay. Look at that floating jump. Silk draped over a diamond. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm, I, I will stop doing Peter Griffin one day. This will be interesting, too. This is the first time I've streamed it. I'm anxious to see how it performs while you've got XSplit running. Hey, what's up, Def? I know, isn't it? It's like the best shirt ever. Everybody, meet Ron Duke Silver Swanson. Illuminati. You know he wouldn't be the Illuminati. He would totally be a Templar. But that's okay. If you have questions, feel free to ask him. This is, uh... Ooh. See? Tutorial. Nice little... I like the whole, like, augmented reality sort of way they do the menus. I mean, that's pretty sweet, actually. That's slick. Oh, look, I got an achievement for discovering a laundromat. An achievement for discovering a laundromat. Only in the secret world, everybody. It is chugging a little bit with... With, um... with exploit going, but I also have it set to, like, the highest possible in the beta. This one is the press beta, Def. No, no, no. Too much visibility on the street. They're listening. Uncle Fester? They're always listening. That's why I keep the dryers running 24-7. They bug my phones, read my mail. They have this place on CCTV. You place my girlfriend with an android. That is... Hey, that guy's girlfriend is way too hot for him. I know you know, and they know I know. 
you know? <laughs> You're wondering why they haven't disappeared. This is the not a dev server. It's actually a press beta server, is what they're calling it. So it's like only press are on this one. Uh, so we have access to the Illuminati and the Templar and King's Mouth and some other place too. Don't worry. Plus the dungeons that you guys on the, the public press beta or not public press beta, with the public weekend beta don't have access to. To resist control, we do nothing. Nothing. They don't tell us to. Been He's a little paranoid. In, 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 in every kind of media. Did you ever see the movie, the sci-fi movie, like example? The Giver, with the dude That's that gets the alien just, anime just, just thing and just a mind sucks onto his face and then wraps into like a suit of armor the mazes they build, and everything? Down their pills. That's what he looks like. The forbidden wisdom of Eden? Never enough. And you can't Aww, and go that sucks, Steph. I mean, they're watching you. Their eyes are always watching you. Even beyond death. This all adds up. That's where you'll find the Illuminati. At the dark center. In the ghost house. In the labyrinth. It's right here. Just just follow the yellow dot road. <laughs> I guess you're right. He's actually right. That's all I can say. Actually, I know that like the characters look a little blocky and stuff. But, and, uh... You know, it, it's not as sharp looking. The character models aren't as sharp looking as, like, the Old Republic. But I think that the... The cutscenes are actually done better, in my opinion. They're a little less static because you don't have these oh, choices and stuff. Questions, my friend. I bet you have. Yeah. See you real soon. Evidence bye, of Penny. surveillance. Some, a lot of it is Pope. Oh. Yup. <laughs> I am going to. Dr I do look like Farouk Balthazar or whatever the hell his name is. I do look like Freddie Mercury. I'm Freddie Mercury meets Ron Swanson. That's what I am. Like, they had a baby together. All right, let's find some surveillance. We'll find surveillance. Aha! Wait, maybe it's that camera. That's glowing. Find more surveillance equipment. Looks like it's right outside. Uh. Yeah, I found another one. These, these look like things that he put there himself, though. Farouk Balsaris. Thank you, Sean Dog. I should know that. I feel bad. Follow the trail of surveillance equipment. And there's... This is cool. You press X and you can sprint. As far as I know, it's like the only mount option in the game, and you don't run exactly fast, but it's better than nothing. I hope so. So yeah, as you can see, there's another camera, so you keep going. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Gotta get these tutorial things out of the way. Apparently the tutorial's not final either. There's more coming. Follow. Hey, look, an Illuminati marking. See, this is kind of this is kind of cool. They do a lot with the uh, with the scenery and stuff like that. I discovered sewers. All these little Minati hands, that's pretty cool. Hiding in plain sight, yeah, pretty much. It's still a great concept, all this stuff out here like that. And I'm sure it'll be used more and more. Get used to that with the Illuminati. Which? <laughs> Get used to which, exactly. Alright, one thing I want to grab, right down here. Some lore. More achievement based stuff. Yeah, look at that. The, number 11. Uh, cue the ritual chant fuck or be fucked. Uh oh. Expletive deleted.
Ron Swanson can run fast. Alright, now that's just cool. I feel like I'm in Men in Black. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know the drill. Run them through due diligence. I'm on it. Good Saturday to everyone indeed. Whoa! They swear! Have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here. Understood, Skywise. Thank you. <laughs> Good typing skills, too. This is sort of the initiation, guys. And for those of you who are just tuning in, we just started playing this Illuminati character in the secret world. This is like the tutorial. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't freak out. You got a lot of narco synthetics in your system. To yeah, they're going for the mature rating, cubed. So make yourself comfortable before you lose motor function in your arms and legs. Is it safe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher. An experimental researcher. Zern, my schedule is triple booked, so get started ten minutes ago. Uh, yes, ma'am. Miss Geary. Yeah, I wouldn't Management. stream the intro to the dragon. Still here. My cousin yeah. Hunter Burzy. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be... Character models are a little wonky. Potential. That's that's what's Routine. bugging me, I think. Like, look at his elbows. Invasive procedures, auto suggestion, <laughs> And this is all going to happen while you're under a post-hypnosis role-playing scenario. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm... I heard about that, Def. I heard about that. Garrett was telling me he saw that in uh, a press event. It's not, uh, it's not for the weak of heart or the young. This is gonna be an intense out of body experience. Wow. Wow. I'm pretty excited myself. No, Duke. Be careful. Oh. And He's gone. Left the building. Yeah, he's completely expressionless, and they don't talk either. Hide and show. Everything. From in the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. <laughs> no, I'm playing Ron, Duke Silver, Swanson, Anfo. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. So this is the Tokyo flashback. This is uh, the beginning of everything going to hell, and you're sort of flashing back to it. And you're playing the role of that chick. You see yourself, but they see her. Are you okay? In this flashback. See, look at all that crazy junk. How are you feeling? These are the different types of missions. You have story missions, which are the main storyline. Uh, action missions, always dealing with combat. Item missions, investigations, sabotages, group and dungeon missions, and PvP missions. Yeah, they are the guys from the trailers, passers. So, see, this is the... Again, that UI is real slick. You see an icon, you click it, boom. If Suberi was here, he'd tell us this is the worst time to argue. Well, he's not. He's down there somewhere. And items still Sad. sort of just cling onto your Get back, your like they did in Age of Conan. Oh no! She's gonna. Open she's totally gonna, gonna get it. Nope. Sorry. Oh. Animations are de are decent on these cutscenes. That's why I swear the animations have to get better on the characters. They have to. All right. Oh, look out! Sorry, chick. Here we go. Watch out! It's not really a zombie. They call him something else. What is it called? It's gone viral Let's see. so fast. They call him this gets out into Tokyo. infected. It doesn't. 
They're not trying to eat your brains, as it were. Notice all the damage on the shotgun is conical, at least on these two skills. Yeah, I know, Get, they actually, we actually reported that too. They said the animations aren't going to be realistic looking, but they still are all placeholders. So hopefully, they still change. We really have to stop meeting like this. The filth. That's it. Ow! Ow! You guys suck. Don't let it get on you. Don't even breathe in. It's reacting to us. It knows they're coming. That's the filth. It's a cancer. Cancer doesn't know you're coming. It just is. The taint. <laughs> This is a pretty AoE strong character for in terms of ranged AoE info, but the um, melee AoE with the ninja sword is also pretty sweet. Ninja sword, the blades in general. Make every shot count. Yeah, Def, you're probably right. I, I don't know if they're placeholders or if they're just kind of messy right now. Incoming! I'm shooting civilians. I should probably stop that. I like that gun. So all the weapons seem to like deal with they like they do magic plus regular damage. Ow, getting lambasted. So what I mean by that is like the skills aren't realistic, like do, do you know of a shotgun that can lay fire out across the ground like that? I don't. We're gonna need to use some heavier powers. Don't hold back, right? <coughs> I was pacing myself. Listen, Sarah. You have to find Zuberi. We'll hold them here. Make a stand. This is the skill that's awesome. Out for a kill. I was doing shotgun with my... <laughs> I, was doing... I just saw the My Candyland thing. Um... <laughs> I gotta ignore chat. You guys crack me up. Alright, here comes the cool part. Oh, big thing! That's the one I wanted. Oh, look at that. I thought... It says Filthy Mess is his name. I thought it said Seth Myers. One or the other. I think I'm gonna try some different magic and melee skills in this one. Claws, maybe. Although... Ripper was playing with Claws last night. Is that AoE melee too? Oh, sorry, dude. I swear it's a different guy each time. Ah, the cavalry has arrived. Even where the filth really, corrupts, they're pretty bad. The fists. Hmm. Take it into yourself. Breathe it out. Will this broken body mended? The healing skills. Need those. Over here. Good. Single and HOT healing. Hmm. Not bad. Done. Just disappointing. Oh, that Make sucks. That's like Elemental has a lot of like single target. The fire yeah, is all or Elemental this attacks are all seem to be to single honest. target too. Now is not the time for argument. Told you he would say that. Hey guys, uh, someone do me a favor. Are we on the front page of Twitch right now? We're supposed to be this morning, unless someone canceled it again. Done. Nice. Thank you. Look out, that guy blows up. I do like that you can run and attack. I just wish I could hold down. Oh, nope, can't. Doesn't work that way. There we go. The gate's opening. 
I think that's bad news. League of Legends is on the front page. Are we on the top left corner of the front page, though? They're not stopping. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to run past this one. Run! This is all to hold us back. Oh, we're not on there at all. Someone that has sucks. to push through. This yeah, we were, were supposed to be this morning, which means we got bumped. I hate when we get bumped, but it happens. LC2, I actually feel like the combat doesn't feel quite right. And it might be because of the animations. I don't know. It just doesn't feel... You know how sometimes in an MMO you feel like you're actually hitting things? Or if you, even in a tab target MMO, things just feel a little bit more visceral? It doesn't really feel that way yet in the secret world. Oh, well. Well, I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm really glad that you guys are here. All 96 of you. And here comes the cool part. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, come on. There we go. Fade to black. Viva la tent! But man, that's exactly the way to put it. It's floaty. It feels floaty. I don't feel like I'm hitting anything. It's just I see the numbers and I know I'm hitting it, but I don't feel like I'm hitting anything. I can probably get over it. It's not something like and I'm also I'm coming from playing like Terra for the last three weeks where Epler combat just feels fantastic. But I should. The, an the animations, oh, yeah. eponymous Bosch, they are Over placeholder, actually. Higher brain functions. Functioning. That is great work. Well above MK Ultra success rate. Yeah, Def, it does vary per hey, weapon. I, I think the sword actually feels sword better, but the sword we weren't allowed to talk sword. about under this first wow. embargo. I am yes. going to play it today. I think Look the sword up, might work. Hey, you better haul ass to the test chamber. Jump through a few hoops. Oh, oh, and you may be feeling some discomfort from the microchip that I grafted to your spinal column. No worries. I like the no, sound. I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna fade. Really. Get cooped. I actually really like and the sound. Your doctor, Susie, you our associate editor, says she, she really hated the way things sounded with her, like, assault rifle. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try an assault rifle. The NDA lifted deaf but only for certain parts we have like separate embargoes so like the embargo well our coverage yesterday was pretty much what the embargo allowed us to talk about and then the embargo that will get told about at a certain later time will tell us what else we can talk about assuming i'm guessing that the press server has certain things they want to patch before we talk about them openly however we can perfectly stream anything we want uh break a leg yeah, you feel free to talk about the swords. I don't think they're going to stop you at this point. We're just not allowed. We weren't allowed to write about them. How will PvP go out, dude? I don't know. We don't have PvP yet. LC two. Are we going to stream it on Monday? I hope so. I don't know if I'm going to be home in time. I wish I was. I, and plus, I'm not sure it would be fun to stream. It's probably going to be pretty laggy and beat. There you go. That's it. LR cubed. So you can't do. Can't talk about the closed beta. You can just talk about the public beta weekend. My Candyland, that is too many questions right now. <laughs> there we go. Map. I like that. It's a blueprint. It's kind of cool. So if you haven't noticed, all the quests, the quests over here, they have different tiers. So like, sometimes they're simple little things like go here, but other times it's kill this, then collect these, then find out what's wrong with this. So I get to pick my weapon in here, I suppose. Yeah, there's not really levels. <laughs> but 
his feet exploding after he saw my shirt. It's a great shirt. Don't forget the quest where you actually have to know real world stuff, and that's why you have an internet browser in game. Yeah, internet browser. Ta da! The Biebs. Look, I looked up Justin Bieber. How about that? And Christina Aguilera. So, here's the best thing about this we could look up porn while we're playing the secret world, and it would totally be in character. Me clay and expect me to hand them back steel. <laughs> it is not an instructor they want, it is an alchemist. You, my friend, are in a world of tigers, and they will eat you alive if you are weak, if you hesitate, if you do not strike first. Here, you will learn to strike first and strike hard. For those combat holograms, they can do nothing to you. I, however, have a high-powered rifle and a streak of what some call sadism. All a will to that guy identify. has white guy hair. You have Just throw that out there. But we have no time to tease it out of you. Inside you is a power, an anima, you can draw on to make yourself stronger, faster, a more effective killer. It is the magic behind the magic. Yeah, it works. The in-game browser works. In fact, you'll end up using it a lot when you find clues that you're not sure how to, what to deal with. Instruments through which your enemies made force. I want you to arm yourself and show me. Maybe we'll do the hammer. We have an arsenal here. You Maybe. What, what should I use? You please. But when you leave. Yeah, Storno, it's similar to that. I like the deck system though. It's like Star Wars Galaxy meets like uh, Guild Wars. You get these 500 plus skills. You came to possess it. What would Ron Swanson use? <laughs> would he use a hammer? I think he'd probably use a hammer. Wouldn't use no namby-pamby magic. He'd use guns. He would use guns. Dual pistols? Let's try, let's try dual pistols. Okay. Um, Alright. So we got... Those are the magic... I really don't want the magic. We're not going to do with the magic right now. Now got an orbital sander. Knuckle spikes, blade, hammer. Is it over here? My guns? That's what I want. There we go. So, pistol. Let's try it. Def's pretty much right. You can't really describe endgame. The end game is sort of all the time. There's also going to be the three faction PvP, which is very key. Let's equip all my crap here. All right, now I have guns, which again just hang on my hips. <laughs> Let's use it. See what happens. I should be able just to hold that down. Oh, I can curve bullets. Look at that. Like it's like one ability thing. points are used to purchase the abilities that determine how a character fights. Anybody the see you saw one thing, right? By pushing N. Abilities come in two varieties, active and passive. I'm not going to listen to this. Basically, we'll we'll talk about it if you want to know about it. Curve the bullet. Curve the bullet. Curve the bullet. Oh, they actually call it wanted. How funny. At least there's lots of uh, in-jokes here for nerds. Of course, they're talking about the, the movie more than the comic, I suppose. Angel Lips Jolie, yeah. I love that. That looks great. Does it actually hit multiple targets? Jumps to... Yeah. Oh, sweet. Let's do this again. One more time, and then we'll try the assault rifle. And it jumps. Oh. I think dual pistols might be the one I use. <laughs> Through his boss bitches donut. Nice button. Yeah, that's pretty much awesome. That's also like the only movie I can think of where Morgan Freeman is the bad guy. Uh, let's try the assault rifle. Okay. Okay. So. A lot more range on the assault rifle. 
It does sound a little funny. That's kind of cool. Nice AoE right there. The assault rifle's pretty sweet, actually. Just wish it didn't sound like it does. It doesn't sound strong. That's cool. Let's see if we can actually do it and hit all five at once. Hit that guy. Yep. Spray. Exactly, button. It's, it's subdued. Was the pistol that bad? Let me try the pistol again. The, the shotgun, we know what it sounds like. What it looks like. Probably gonna go with pistols. And then get myself a focus when I get down to, uh... The mainland, so I can have two maggot, two uh, two skills. The gun, see, this doesn't sound, but it is slowish. It needs to be faster. Like, I'm pressing it as fast as I can, but there's a one second cooldown, so the pistol's like one, two, one, two, and he freaks out. Ugh, pistol doesn't feel that great either, to be honest. Okay, melee weapons. You're right. We'll try them. Is that the focus area? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> what would you like to see first? Yeah, each button press should be firing both guns. If they're going to dual two pistols, you should be like, one, two, one, two, you know, like that. That'd be perfect. There probably are some skills that make it better. But we'll see. We're going to pick one and play with it for the next hour, once we're done with this. Hammer. Okay, so, what we got? AoE enemy, and a smash active melee ability, okay. That looks familiar. That's still kind of cool. I think you should be able to hold down the key. It's kind of like an action RPG, so you should be able to hold down your builder. And watch it work that way, but... Okay. That's pretty good. I like the hammer. We might go with the hammer. Let's see the knuckle spikes. I gotta stop just equipping everything, there's no point. Ah, uh, it's kinda weird, what was that? Cone effect. They're supposed- uh, Pope, they're supposed to be tweaking the animations, yes. What server am I on? I am on the press beta server. It's different than the weekend server, I'm afraid. Let's try the blade. This is the only one I have access to, otherwise I'd be playing right with you guys. The blade's cool. I mean, I played with this one a little bit. But again, it's another one that just looks weird. He just swings it left, swings it left, swings it right. And that's kind of cool. Right there. As my my way to sort of You're not I'm not restricted to Templar, I'm playing the Illuminati right now, Eponymous. I think I'm gonna go with hammer, and then I will pick a different magic too. Once we get to the main area, since you can only leave with one. Hammer's pretty sweet. Okay, I'll try magic for you. But Well, we're going to go get magic later, but we'll, we'll try it for you. Is it hard to play this after G Guild Wars 2? Guild Wars 2 makes it hard for me to play anything. I wish I had Guild Wars 2 right now. Um, it's the only game I want. Uh, but I'm loving Terra. <clears throat> And I will be playing this at launch. It's still a pretty cool game. The combat just needs to be shored up a bit. Let's try Chaos.
Okay, so chaos magic. What the hell's it do? <laughs> really? Out of range? It's not very far, is it? It's like right up here. Call for... Oh! It's a burst attack, so it's a single target focus. Chaos magic is definitely favoring the dragons, I think. And elemental, then we'll try blood. I've done elemental before, I think this is the fire-based, like your first few skills are fire-based. Oh, whoops. There we go. Chaos and fist could be nice. Like some electrocution and then some flames. I can't even try blood in here. That's lame. That's that is really lame. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's go get my hammer. Get cooped. I love Terra and I am not a fan of the anime style. I can't get over what I can't get past, like or what I can get past, I can get past the art style because I love the combat. The combat's amazing in Terra. Yep, all of them, Harb, all of them share weapons and skills. You can just see which ones are sort of flavored, like the Katana and Chaos is flavored for the dragon. This is a test environment in more ways than one, my friend. In here, we have total control. We see a war play out exactly as we wanted it to. We learn... There. So. <clears throat> okay. Dude, get cooped. I like it a lot. You get used to it. Is that the best way to put it? The reason the combat's got the skill locks and you can't do the animations, it's it's for PvP. Like, if you're in PvP and you were able to break animations anytime you wanted, it would kind of defeat the purpose. This way you really have to decide when are you going to attack, time your attacks, and everything like that. It works. Yeah, Bear Omega, that's another truce, actually. Okay, skill points. We are going to use my hammer. So, we're going to put him into damage. And why not? We'll put we'll put one into uh, survivability too, just for the hell of it. So these are different than your skill wheel. These earn you uh, sort of like bonus. It's like your, I think of it like talents in World of Warcraft. The more points you spend on these things, you get these bonuses. So right now I get 12% more damage when I... Uh, what do you call it? When the momentum count reaches 5, your next ability will deal 12% more damage. So if I hit things 5 times and then use an ability, it'll do 12% more damage. And obviously the higher you get, the better. And the ability wheel. So, this is crazy. Um, why is it asking me to go into del do I have one in each of those? No. Anyway. And Bill, the, it might be good to note on that screen is that the survivability roles help define what your auxiliary ability is because everybody does DPS, but do you want to be tank, heals, or support? Comes it's true. That survivability area. It's true, yeah. The survivability area will actually help your, your support skills more than anything else. And sometimes your defense too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Zyres, I couldn't tell you what each branch focuses on. <laughs> I really couldn't. See, like they call the they call each little branch. See, like if you're in blades, one of them is called method, the other's called technique, one's called brawn, and the other's called grit. You sort of have to read what they have in them. Like this one seems to be literally focusing on DPS. 
It's got Smash and Below the Belt as a passive. Which weakens the target. And then Hell to Pay, which is a conical blast attack. And then Righteous Fury, which increases your critical chance. So, Hammers with Brawn seems to be focusing mostly on damage. But if we go to Grit, you've got Brawler, which increases your crit power. Builds one resource for each equipped weapon. Street Fighter, uh, it increases all damage dealt. This all looks like stuff that's mostly for DPS until you get to Stonewalled. And that one is gaining the major block chance effect, which increases your block chance by 40% for 6 seconds. Is that really a tank class? Let's put it this way. I still don't know what everything is. <laughs> but that's what these are for. So these are the decks. And you can pick one and see what they're about. Um, I think it's... Which one is the... Which one has the hammer based? Like that one's... The Grifter uses elemental powers and a shotgun, but that's the opening gambit. There's a summoning deck built around the use of a variety of manifestations and turrets to do the majority of the Grifter's work. Okay. The Goon. Ah, uh, there's no, no outfit for the Goon yet. The sword is more tank. Thanks, Def. The Goon, wielding blade and hammer, is, is the face that stopped a thousand punches. This is a deck intended for tanking, so there you go. So you really have to sort of, you can go use these decks and sort of figure out what some of the base roles are, um, or you could just play however you want. I'm looking for one that focuses on hammer and we'll find one. Plus has a cool outfit. Hammer and, is that chaos magic? Is that what that is? It looks like hammer and chaos magic. Illusionist leads enemies to, to their death, picking off the weak with chaos magic and hammer. Best used to focus on a single enemy, this deck loads extra damage on targets with low health. That's single damage? I don't know about that. Necromancer. Yeah, I like the outfits. This, this is something cool to mention. If you actually complete this deck and get all the skills that are required to build it, you get that outfit to wear in-game. So that's pretty cool. Thaumaturge. Slayer. Gunslinger. That's kind of cool. I like the idea of a gunslinger. Bodyguard. Ah, here we go. A bodyguard. Why not? Shot. Oh, that doesn't include magic. really don't want single target. Oh, well. You know what? We don't have to do that. I just kind of want to see. So, taking no chances, fields a hammer and a shotgun. This deck supports dealing with many enemies at once, prioritizing devastating blast attacks that reduce opponent's effectiveness. The bodyguard is also built for survivability. Whatever. Let's go with it for now. So, got Brawler taken. Let's get the Grand Slam. Single target attack that deals. If you hit a weakened target, Street Fighter, whatever you apply, a pair, you gain beneficial stone wall. You could spend all day in the skill wheel. I like the sound of Brawn better than anything, to be honest. I know it wants me to go that way. Let's equip. We got one more AP. We'll get the Street Fighter benefit. Whenever you imply impaired, you gain a beneficial effect. Increases all damage dealt. There. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll get some action on... We're probably going to try a magic. 50 minutes on timer, not at a quest yet. What? We've got time. I'll be around for another hour and 10 minutes, at least. Probably try blood magic when we get down there. Anyway, really just wanted to pick some skills. Let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I'll tell you in one second, Harb. I think they're actually sort of, they're little areas of skills that don't fit into any one tree, and they're locked, so I can't really see them. But let's see if we can take a look at least. Is it K? What the hell is that? K? The ability wheel. Like, I can't even really see what's in them. It just says it's locked in the beta. So, who knows? 
We'll find out. Anfo, I haven't seen a vampire, but I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. There seems to be a little bit of everything. This place is crazy looking. Dude, I look like an '80s action hero. That's what I look like. I'm Duke Silver. <laughs> Transylvania, there's gonna oh my god, there's just some cool stuff in this game, isn't there? I fucking love old school hip hop, don't you? Oh, you lie. Projecting indecision is a big no no. Oh, oh she's crazy. ugly. But this isn't another test. Yeesh. We don't do probation. You're either in or you're out. The Illuminati are very achievement focused. It's like Xbox, only everything is hardcore. The ethic I really want to instill in you is to aim high and achieve. They all are. They are kinda. It's not just in your best interest. It reflects on me. Too. I look great. Super important. My guy looks really Make me good. Look bad, I'll mount your head on my wall as an object lesson to the next fuck up. God, it is so cute when you new guys think I'm. Desinct, I'm gonna try blood magic as soon as I get to town. Solomon Island, a little town and a. We're gonna get blood magic and a hammer going kind of and build my own build down here. The people aren't a major deal. You know how many I think one thing that people have to get used to in this game year? is you're going to end up having uh but our noses need to be You're going to end up having like a bazillion different builds that you need to use for different situations. You're going to have one that you play with all the time that you prefer. You're going to have one for group situations. You're going to have one for healing situations, tanking situations. It's going to be crazy. You just have to get all the skill points to do that all. Quarantine by traveling through Agartha. Just use your initiative. But not too much initiative that comes across as desperate. Ciao, ciao. I am a 70s porn star crime fighter. I'm Duke Silver. <laughs> what she just tell me to do? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Good job. We liaised the shit out of that one. Ah. These, these people are just creepy and they just stand around. Follow the blue arrow, that's what it's for. I discovered the garage! Yay! <laughs> I like the urban aesthetic here. Oh, maybe I should go this way. Huh. Oh, one thing they did say. Oh, okay, Agartha. This place is sweet. Um, one thing they did say is that um, the jumping animation, this weird floaty animation, is gone in the final launch candidate. All right, this is when I meet the cool train station guy. Yup. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hanks from the Polar Express. Hello, yes. We're gonna meet Santa Claus. Now this Ooh. is the Hollow Earth, Agartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. And by my watch, it's 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour. Oh, and he gives he gives you a little magic bell too that you can hear ringing. Traveler. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, this underground realm, like the Dude, this is some kind of high-tech teleportation. It's old tech. Agatha's thoroughfares sprout from the tree of life. King away, it's uh it is. It's about Everything that you ever thought was just legend and myth is really true, and there's some crazy shit going down with this thing called the filth sort of flooding into the world, and uh, the three factions have to sort of join together to fight back against it. At the same time, they're also fighting each other for power in the secret world. It is a little bit more Templar than Illuminati. Here's the invisible thing that I caught. You see that? You know that's that's beta. It's just not there. It's like ooh, you can feel it. It's like your Hearthstone. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out. It's cool, King Away. It's really cool. This like the setting is probably the the reason I like playing this game the most. The combat's rough, but the setting and quests are fun. Wait till you see. We'll get to them. 
Well then, onwards to the New England coast. What? All right. Now here's the fun part. Why did it put me over there? Oh, okay. So that's where you come from if you're a Templar. Must be where you come from if you're in a... See, I started playing a Templar and I came right there. And the dragon portal's right there. It is a fun com game. Come along, come along. I don't know. Just watch. This part's cool. Cheerio. Oh. There is a free-for-all PvP thing, but it's not... It's it's kind of like Guild Wars. You you have to go to the RBR. Uh, hoodie. Like, you have to go to the RBR section. Which I don't think I can see yet. Oh, yeah, you can. Like, this is... This is one of them, this persistent war zone you can go to. And then they have these battlefields, which are like the instance PvP matches. But you can go to this Fusang Projects, and it's a three-faction war zone. Think Dark Age of Camelot's, uh, Dark Age of Camelot's, like, Realm versus Realm. And you're all going to be fighting over what's in the middle here. Um, and it's persistent. It's on all the time. And those people who are currently winning it get all this badass buffs and stuff like that. It is not active to me now. And I don't think it's active in the press beta either, because there's only two factions, not three. We'll take a look, but as far as I know, I don't think you can PvP yet. I think it's off limits. Okay, watch this. Ooh. So this is Agartha. You can go everywhere doing this. I'm going to try, Hyote. I don't think I'm going to be able to. But I can't go here yet. See, it's okay. It's a really cool effect. Let's go to King's Mouth. Yes. Ah, so Def. Def is in the closed beta. He's giving us a leak. He says there's no PvP, but there are three factions available. Yeah, Ungroundable. I think it's pretty interesting that so many different companies are uh, are using like three faction PvP now. We're going to be writing an article on that. Like even the Elder Scrolls Online is going to be using three factions. It's about time people started realizing it's way better than two. So we're going to King's Mouth. This is like on the New England coast, not far from where I was. Not sure why I need a portal. And there's this town, it's very Stephen King-esque. It's being sort of overrun by fog that's turning people into zombies. I can follow instructions! That's the achievement I got. And this is like the resurrection portal. If I were to die near here, which is a very real possibility, uh, you would resurrect right here. Dude, War Dog, why not 10? Why not do like Warhammer 40k and have a bazillion? That'd be great. Harb, I think he's talking about oh, Guild Wars 2. Oh, kid. You haven't gone back in time. I just happen to be the last of the cowboys. Got your southern welcome right here. Mesquite beans, Texas style. Good ought to face evil on a full stomach. Name's Boone. I'm a troubleshooter. Not sure of the sanct. You and I need to have a powwow before you go. Zyers, I actually agree with you. I I know that the Elder Scrolls MMO is probably not going to play like an Elder Scrolls game, but the idea of a Dark Age of Camelot set in the Elder Scrolls realm, I'm okay with it. I'll play that. Sure, you can be divided in purpose. No, it, War Dog, it's really not. And as long as you can reconcile that fact and say, okay, so it's not Skyrim Online, it's an MMO set in the Elder Scrolls universe, maybe you, maybe it's going to be good. I don't know. I don't mean to say I'm gonna wait until I actually get to play it, which the rumor has it it'll be available at E3 this year. Just about smell the brimstone. All we know is death and fog came from the sea. Or Me? I'm Duke Silver there. right here, <laughs> but I'm on the press beta. Sir, so. put money on that. Someone's still being around. Bunch of survivors hold Chris, no. Smith Town. Never speaks. Follow that main road and the sound of gunfire, and you'll come to the sheriff's office. Kid. Button man, it's not the Star Wars here. engine. Oh, you mean you mean Elder Scrolls? Yeah, Elder Scrolls is using Hero Engine. Love we'll to see how that works out. 
Okay. Anyway. Let's get his extra action quest, because I get to kill some zombies with his action quest. No. So you can talk to people. They'll tell you I stuff. I come from the south. The real old south. The real old south. My partner Wolf and I ride for a higher authority. Crafting system is not really available on the press. Gets my fingers itching for two matters. One. Descent. Neverwinter blew my mind at PAX. Absolutely blew my mind. It blew my mind, Mike Bitten's mind, and Pocket's mind. We were floored by that game. It looks and plays phenomenally. Cryptic's got their their swerve back. <laughs> Got places to be, but nothing's stopping you from culling the herd as you go. Ungroundable PvP is yeah, not available for folks yet, I don't think. Tick and how to make that tick and stop, and I'll buy you a beer at the apocalypse. Hopefully, at a, another weekend from now, maybe we'll get settle through. Up. The end of the world waits for no man. Okay, skip. So he's like, hey, go kill some zombies, but it's not just kill some zombies, you'll see. Oh, that was badass. Swing it again. Okay. There's three more right here. I like how some of the quests seem like they're kill quests, but they're actually avoid quests, and you're not supposed to kill the things, and it's frustrating when you try and kill them, and they kill you over and over. Again. <laughs> it's you're true. supposed to avoid them. <laughs> it's true. All right, so a little bit like Left for Dead here. You see this blinking red light. It means there's a car alarm. This is pretty sweet. Dunk. They're going to come out of the woods. There we go. God, actually, I kind of love the hammer. Holy crap. The hammer actually feels good. Okay, so there's another car alarm. I could probably jump on it again, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do it. No? Ah. Gotta go this way. Yeah, they probably should be more squelchy. I like that term. More of a thump and crunch. They definitely need, like, whatever you're attacking should have a different sound effect. But what are you going to do? I will make the game. They did say um, that there's a lot of changes coming. I just wonder why they're showing it to us now if there's still tons of changes coming. Maybe because it's six weeks from launch. Destroy. Oh, I got some green loot. What'd I get? Coins. Holy shit, yeah. I'll take those. Just increase my health by a crap ton. Now, I do need the super sludge. Now we get to do this part. Here you go. Ignite this. Watch out. And then this part. Hey, zombies. Follow me. I'm just going to run over this. I know I probably shouldn't have caught myself on fire, but still. What's the big deal? More green loot. Translation. See, that's a talisman toolkit. I don't think I can do much with that. We'll try. Can I let... Is there a gas tank back again? Did it come back? No. We gotta find another gas tank. The spell effects are actually good. It's just the character animations that are a little off to me. They fix those and I'll be happy. Plus, I'm really digging the hammer. I actually found a weapon that feels right. Look out. Whoops! Holy crap! Okay. So there's three more zombies over here. Maybe I can wave to them. Hey, bye! Look at that! Uh, let's go! Whee! Go into the fire! You should go into this fire. It looks fun. Hey, 
Yay. More fire. Zombies love fire. Does he look like Alan Wake? <laughs> He's Ron Swanson. He's Ron Duke Silver Swanson. Look at his head. Just mentioned back. <laughs> now there's a half eaten corpse I get to examine. So this mission, you know, it starts off as just kill five of this, and then you get more missions from them. It's a lot of like different tiers. I uh, sorry, I should have read that, but basically this cop was killed and he left a bunch of ammo behind. Maybe the town can use it, that kind of deal. So we grab the ammo. Let's go find this... the half-eaten corpse. There's gotta be one over here. Oh shit, five zombies! I don't know why I move. I always feel like because I can move, I should. Okay. Okay. Corpse Gorger. This will be fun. Watch out. Get out of the way. When you see their tells like that, that's actually when you have to dodge. See? And I get another anima point. To spend on skills. Okay. So let's keep going with grit. Oh, I need two for that one, though. What about... Oh, we need some blood. That's what we need. We're gonna do blood magic. Profane? Unholy knowledge? Builds a resource for each equipped weapon. Blood shield. So this is like a support one. Hell yeah! That's the one we want. Okay. We're gonna do blood magic. It's like a support tree. One more AP and I'll get my heal. Good. That's what I wanted. Yay. Okay, this is kind of cool, too. Uh, I know you guys are arguing whether or not this game's going to be good. For the record, I do think it's going to be good. It's just a little rough around the edges. Um, when you get a quest, most of the time you can use your PDA, or <laughs> I guess it's not a PDA, your smartphone, and send the quest objectives back. So, a new hammer? Yeah, I'm probably going to get the new hammer. I'll buy a weapon here. Let's get that. Oh, that looks better. Yeah, King Away, the questing actually is really good. Animation is probably the only problem I have with it on Groundable. I really don't know how to do the crafting. Let's see if we can look at the crafting at least. Since it's not really... So... We take this, we go, huh? Now you need a tool. See? I don't have a tool. I don't have optional stuff. They don't even tell you how it works. Basically, they're just like, don't talk about the crafting. So anyway, let's find Deputy Andy. I know he's in here somewhere. Deputy. Oh, that's right. Deputy Andy's on the roof. I'm actually playing as an Illuminati Z-Man. You get experience points, Zyres, but you don't get levels. What you get instead are AP and skill points, um, and there's 500 of them. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that it is just like leveling, but you don't get health points and you don't get uh, defense and everything like that from levels. You only get skills and abilities to use. So you, you get skill points, you get new things to do with your character. The only way you're going to upward progress your health and stuff is through the items. So... Like, this item has 51 weapon power, while the other one has 75. Does that make sense? Turkey boy, Slim. 
I um, I like you, man, but we do kick out trolls. <clears throat> you spooked the heck out of me, and I figured I was fresh out of scares. Yeah, LR cube. There is XP that gets AP and skill points. Cody, uh, a little bit, a little bit like an action MMO, not quite. The fact that you can move while you attack helps it feel less static, but an action MMO is more, to me, is more along the lines of Terra. That feels more like an action MMO or DC Universe Online. Even Guild Wars 2, I wouldn't, con I wouldn't call an action MMO. Ravbot, yes. He wouldn't have the skills, but technically, uh, anybody that could get the gear could then be have the same hit points and same attack points. He just wouldn't have the skills to use it. I can't, I physics. I really can't, I don't think, yet. Yay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta do something. I gotta get my other blood magic. I now have a heal. I have a heal. Yes. Oh, praise be Allah. I have a heal. Oh. So he's got quests for me, but we're going to go away for a minute. No problem, the Ungroundable. Have a good time. I got about 45 minutes left myself. Physics, we can't join a PvP thing. That's what you're, that's what you're missing. Um, we cannot join it. They're not enterable. There's two factions, so no PvP available. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you never get a level, uh, Tom Geta. You get, you get these AP and skill points. Like, here's your bar. I'm this close to getting another skill point. I'm this close to getting another act anima point. Um, you spend those on skills and on abilities, but they don't increase your stats. The only thing that increases your stats, let's go back to it. The only thing that increases your stats is going to be the gear you purchase, find, earn in the game. So, they're com like, the gear is your vertical progression, and the abilities and skills are your sort of lateral progression, and that goes on for over 500 skills. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get this over with. Heck if I know where you folks keep coming Crafting, uh, the battlegrounds alive, pretty much are, uh, th what you're missing too are the war zones. They're the persistent realm versus realm versus realm PvP, or three-faction PvP. We agreeable? Well then, I'm Sheriff Bannerman. Deuce too high, yes, the atmosphere is the best. This game's, like, aesthetic is killer. Death it is probably going to be hard for people to get. Can you start with any skill? There are weaker ones first, I would say, but, like, the upper ones aren't stronger. Like, they don't do more damage or anything like that, from what I can tell. It's all based on... Um, it's all based on the weapon you use. So, my... Shotgun skills are going to do more damage when I have a better shotgun. Does that make sense? Now I can see you. Yeah. Just like LR Cube says. Straight truth is, you'll need to be. Just don't go thinking that means you're deputy. But they're not weak ones. I don't know how to put it. They're preliminary. They have ones that are more utility the further down you get. That Roger woman has a crystal ball. Frame Bart, I don't know. I'm on the press server. There's very few people around, so I haven't had the chance to group. Yeah, she does, but she's wearing a really baggy piece of clothing. That too. I'm just going to let Def explain it all. He's obviously played a lot more than I have. It's All I know is it's a, a lot more complicated than your normal MMO, and it's going to take people some time to get used to. So she wants me to investigate King's Mouth and its inhabitants, but she also has some quests. Uh, this guy has a quest. This guy has a quest. But I, before I do any of these missions... Well, hey! I want something specific. Need my blood magic weapon. Oh, oh, come on. There's gotta be one. Shotgun, fist weapons. Oh, phew. Okay. Bye. So now I have my blood magic. 
can use my hammer or my book that's on my back. Let's sell that one. Sell that. Sell those. You want to take that? There we go. Okay, so now I have my book, my thing. Let's get a mission. Now you are a sight for sore eyes. This one says, uh, local stores and businesses might have supplies lying around. They should be listed in the phone book. Here's a quest. Ain't this a heck of a thing? Three years ha! Glue a book to your back. That's true. Blood magic. Just put that, put that book on your back. <laughs> it's funny though. There's a book on my back, and it disappears. It's one of those things in MMOs that I don't think is going to change anytime soon. That girl doesn't look too healthy. Or dude. You can refund the points. Um. Andy finds what he can, but I, I don't know if you can do it right from the skill book or if you have to go in an NPC. Def, so is there a specific place you have to go to refund your points? Or do you just out of combat change decks? I don't think the store owners will be writing this one off as a That's it. God. There you go. Def explains. So you're never stopped from learning more skills. You just have to get the skill points to do it. Like, if I'm, am I explaining that right? So if you start off your character and you're like, ah, oh, he kind of sucks, well, go earn some skill points and anima points and change the way he's built and go into a different tree. Is that kind of it? You can refund only right after you buy it. So like if I buy this and I want it back, I can refund then. Here. Okay, now we're both a little bit of blood magic. We got a skill point. Let's go into blood with the supports. There. Okay. See, I'm already mixing it. I am already building my own character. Be safe out there. Goodbye. Now, here's the phone book that the quest says. And you see, uh, this one doesn't really actually require most investigation because it basically tells you where to go. But you can see different places listed on here. It's kind of cool. I like this one right here, Jack and Wendy's Bed and Breakfast. Um, nice throwback to The Shining right there, and we are in King's Mouth after all. Anyway, let's go do this mission first. Oh, there was another press player. Who we got? Pan pancakes. Really not sure who that would be. Okay. So let's go to Susie's Diner. Off to Susie's Diner. I love... Actually, now I'm liking the combat because the hammer feels phenomenal. Still, the sound is off, but it feels great. And look, I healed myself, right? There we go. So, heals and places an absorb barrier on your defensive target. So you can... It looks like you can multi-target. Is that... Is that true? Tell me, Def, can you multi-target in this game? Can I have a defensive target and an offensive target? Great. Gonna lose some attack rating, but get some health. Taking that. You can use that on anybody. The heal? <clears throat> I can use the heal on anybody, but does it? Uh, do you have a defensive target and an offensive target, like Warhammer? Yeah, so when you cast it, you've seen your name going up there on your left of your screen. That's your defensive card. You can put on any player, that comes up on there. Togeta, I do actually love... Go ahead and hit your shield, because you're losing health. You'll just see your defensive target on the left. I love the uh, 
I love the detail in the world. It actually looks amazing. But there's it's not very interactive. Like, I can't go in this building. V is auto loot. Thank you. Learning things as I play. Absorbs incoming damage. That's pretty sweet. I like the way that looks. Heals 32. Hmm. Interesting. So you see your defensive window up there on the left? Yeah, I saw that. I think I just found out what combination I'm going to go for in launch. Hammer and Blood Magic. Absolutely digging it. This is the first time I've played the game where I really felt like I like the skills I have. Between play style... No, Deuce, it's probably just the aesthetic and the storyline. I would say, like, you know, the dragon are all about chaos and stuff like that. The Illuminati are about power and using any means to obtain it, and the Templar are about protecting the old ways, uh, roughly. Daupa, I can't really tell you that there's probably not an MMO that this game's like. It's very unique. The one thing I can definitely say about the secret world is that it's very unique. If anything, it's like a cross of uh, Funcom's Anarchy Online and um, Age of Conan, plus a little bit of uh, a little bit of Dream or, or Dreamfall, which Ragnar made before he made an MMO. Okay, let's get some goods for these people. First, kill this bitch. Oh no. The diner cook, she's a beast. Yeesh. The zombies can really take a lot of hits. Use, <laughs> use the book to hit her. Get off! I'm hitting you. With my book. Let's get some pickles. Or whatever this is. So I'm still on that same mission, by the way. The one that the deputy sent me out to go solve. Just so you guys are paying attention, this is all one mission. You can only ever really have, like, three at a time. But if you ever, uh, if you want to take one that you don't feel like working on, the other one will pause and you just have to go back and get it. Love the way that blood skill looks. So we need some ammo. It's not really a channeling skill, no. This one is actually a heal. It heal and shields. It heals me and shields me at the same time. That's why I'm using it during combat. More green loot. Getting lucky today. Yeah, and you get a passive soon that'll uh, when the shield goes down without being busted, it'll heal you even more. Penetrated. Here we 
Here we go. Some security. See, he just had a tell. Gotta watch out for that tell. Does look like an orcs made it. <laughs> no, you can't use vehicles, it doesn't look like. Door is locked tight and barred from the inside. So we need somewhere else to get first aid. So I was going there for first aid. Can't get in. So we go to the phone book. We look for other places. And we say, oh, the fire station. See, I wish it would let you figure this out for yourself. That's one thing that's a little weird. Um, it's not really like exploration. You just look at this and you see, oh, well, forget about this. It says, search the fire station for first aid. It just tells you. I'd rather it actually, like, give me the phone book and then, okay, so where else could I find it? Oh, the fire department. Yeah. Well, whatever. Sprint. There, I'm sprinting for y'all. You'll get plenty of those quests where you'll be scratching your head of, uh, did I read that hint good enough? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It probably, uh, probably is a tutorial, isn't it? zombie firefighters. More green loot. What do I get? Oh, nice. A chaos focus. I don't want that, though. I want a blood focus. So this guy's right by a first aid kit. My character is not too casual to fight zombies. When you're fighting zombies, you absolutely need um, a flannel shirt. I got another AP. Let's see if I can use it on hammers. Two AP for that. Two AP for that. Blood magic, two AP for that. Could do blood spike. I don't want another attack right now, though. I want to focus on hammer for attacking and blood for support. So we save the AP. Oh man, and it came back. I <laughs> am missing the overalls. <laughs> what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Funcom to make an MMORPG.com t-shirt to put in the game. And then just give it away to all you guys for free. Would you guys think that would be cool? Flannel shirt guy dies early on, you might be right. I'm not dying though. I have blood magic. You can wear it with no pants. Can you wear no pants? I hope so. I am, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask for them to do that. It's a pistol. Or oh, shotgun. There. That tier's completed. Place the supplies in the office. And I got my other AP. See how they kind of come quick. And you get more and more later on, too. From what I understand, they come in like ones and twos. And then eventually they come away. They come a lot more. So let's go spend that AP on a hammer skill. I've got Grand Slam, Stonewalled, Major Block Chance Effect, 
Stone Cold, Street Fighter, Grand Slam. Hmm, what do I really want to focus on though? Righteous Fury. It's a pass another passive? Increases ooh, ooh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. Okay. We'll go with Stonewalled. It's on a forty five second cooldown. That's okay. It's a cool thing. As long as it lasts for six seconds, increases your block chance. Makes me a little blocky. Okay. It's true, they are always good. Now we're gonna go talk to Deputy Andy too, because Andy has a cool mission. Dude, Kishi, that's exactly a great plan. Play all <laughs> That was Sparkle. That just helped Sparkle out. I think it is $200 for the lifetime. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh... I think this game's fantastic, but I'm always weary of lifetime subs. Just throwing that out there. I mean, what happens if in two years, like Age of Conan, Secret World goes free to play? I'm sure you get the bonuses, but... Rin Daddy, you already played? This is the Secret World, Twitch Walby. <laughs> Welcome, MMORPG.com. Okay, so let's put some stuff in the supply room. Completed that. Yay! Let's send the report and get more points. A bracer. That's the best one. So close to another skill point. Okay. So see... Well, hey! That quest is repeatable, but I can't do it right now. I want to show you that part. That's kind of cool. So I have to wait 24 hours before I can do Supply Run again. But if you want more skill points that way, you can do it that way. Let's see what Horror Show is. Awesome. Let's do it. Well, show sure wasn't an ideally budget. Later, King! Under martial law. No, the good old boys on the console were all about thrifty spending, at least above the. It table. is definitely so not like GTA. Where I could for some surveillance equipment. Ooh. Police business, sure. Uh, let's call it. It's more like a awareness. horror like subscription webcams, MMO sensors. kind of deal. Oh, now so look at the um, Kingsman look at the eyes and everything on this lady. It's very like emotive on her. I wonder if it's just there's a lot that don't quite have the new faces yet. But uh, to get to the point of it. Seems to me we should bring that gear out of mothballs and get it hooked up around town. Gives me some early warning and the others a break from my collection of Jeopardy reruns. Later, LC2. Have fun, man. If you can. We'll still be here, keeping Kingsmith on the map. Alright. Check this out. Gas station, savings and loans, and a mining museum? Probably. All three, right? Let's get another mission while we're here. We can do two at once. Demanding. Uh, okay, so there's a lady, a guy named Tom who's very upset with trespassers. He complained. We're going to find out what happened to him. It's going to be pay for play. I swear, if you don't do something about it, then I'm going to take it into my own goddamn hands. He wants hippies off his lawn. The type of complaint is about hippies. 
You guys read? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now you are you okay. find me. Stuck behind this desk. Okay. So we can search for old Tom, or we can do the demanding thing. I wanna do the demanding thing. Let's go with, let's go with that. I was gonna to talk to Deputy Andy, but let's do something I haven't done before. I'm gonna find out what's going on at the gas station. This is a sabotage mission, too. I like that. Damn, hippies. I think there is a day and night cycle, actually, yes. You see this timer up in the upper right-hand corner? I think that changes. Uh, and it's like, so right now it's about 4 p.m. in the game, but it's moving, like, every few seconds. It's changing a minute. So I do think there are time changes, day and night cycles. The camera. Retrieve the camera. The Circle Oil gas station. Oh, they're alerted to me. They were alerted to me. Maybe. No, oh, fuck it. Let's kill him. I think I had to be up here. Might as well see, though. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I see a camera. Oh, there it is. Shoot. So I gotta. Ah. Ah. Here's the map. So I'm right here. That's it. It looks like a map of a local. Town. Like somebody, like they, like the city people drew it. You know, it's cool. Figure the camera would be up here. There we go. Yeah. Every time you find a. Thing that gives you a quest that can be done daily, and you can tell that by the green dashes at the bottom of it. You mark your map so you can just run around to all of your marked spots the next time you want to do them the next day. I'm gonna have to use that stone wall kind of often on some of the bosses I know, or the harder mobs. Like these guys are like trash mobs, they're like so easy to take down, they rarely prevent a threat or pose a threat. Yeah, another AP. That's what I wanted. And a skill point. Alright. So, I have one skill point. Really not focusing on that. Okay, well, I'm gonna hold on to the skill point. AP, I need three for Stone Cold. That's kind of, I do want that. Reduce that to a 30 second cooldown. Two for Righteous Fury, for a passive. Ooh, it's fun to build your deck. I like it. <laughs> Play Dark Souls. No, thank you. I don't want to. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Bill Murphy, and this is MMORPG.com's live stream of the Secret World Beta. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Please feel free to chat. Yes, you can be a healer, Buffalar. You can. I'm a healer right now. Like, if I were to focus solely on um, blood magic, sacred path. All your heals and stuff like that are in here. And there's more further up. I hope it'll let me see it. It won't let me see it. It's locked. But yeah, you can, you can be a healer. Cover the camera from the museum. Love beating zombies with my hammer. I would like to join the pants optional guild. Please. 
Oh, hell, how'd he get up there? Oh, here we go. Take the package. Go to Raven's Knock. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, we gotta figure out a way to the top of the friggin' roof of this building. I am using a Naga. <laughs> Punsvik, I actually do think that this will be very good after a few weeks. Um, this, this game has a lot to offer. The combat animations are a little screwy, but I'm enjoying the setting and the world immensely. Can't get up the stairs, apparently. I want to explore it more than uh, more than most other games, just because of the way the setting's built. All right, let's go around back. Buffalo, no, I doubt it. It's another game that I feel like if you really like exploration. You're gonna really dig it. Does that make sense? Like Secret or the the Guild Wars 2, I found really, really enticing because I like to explore. And this is the same way, kinda. The missions aren't like the dynamic events; they're a little bit more, you know, go here, collect this, and then do this. But it's still it got that same sense of, well, oh, what's gonna happen? Where do I go next? And what do you do next? And that's a good MMO, if you ask me. Totally not, Andy. I will be uh, playing Diablo 3 all day on the live stream come Tuesday. <laughs> I'm staying home for my day job. I told everybody on MMO not to bother me. <laughs> this is cool. Josiah, this is the one that needs changing. Have it done before I'm back from Bangor. New cameras are in the basement. Remember to fill out the repair form and file it with museum admins. James Morris, FMM janitor. Gotta enter the basement now. Solo instance for the museum basement. Let's see what happens. This is something I've never done before. I'm gonna try my best to, to play this and not spoil it for myself, but I have a feeling that King's Mouth is where everybody starts. What the hell is that guy? I have an AP and a skill point. I need more APs and more skill points. Okay. I think you should go away. You should go away now. You need to go away because I am not uh -oh. stable right now. Whoa, dude. Don't run away. We can fix that. I'm a doctor. Oh. Find a way to bypass the booby traps. Booby traps. Booby. Okay, how are we gonna get up there to bypass? I can jump over them, I suppose. Think you think that's good enough? If I just go, uh, uh. Of course, it's easy enough. Oh, he's got a ton right there, though. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the surveillance cameras too? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> uh, thanks. So, let's release my soul. Boom! Startled me too. Okay, let's try that again. Avoid the traps, Bill. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's figure this out. So this is much better than your normal kill quest. I'm actually in enjoying this quite a bit. Jump over that one, jump over that one, and that one. Why, why are you just being so weird? All right, so. Let's get behind security cameras.
Is there a trap like right there on the wall? Is that what that is? All right, guys. I'm trying. I'm just seeing here. So. We're not going to go that way. It looks dangerous. We're going to go this way. I'm going to jump up here. Oh, boy. I don't know, can you crouch? Someone help me. <laughs> Let's get dangerous. Uh, hey, DW. Ouch! There's a switch on the wall. Where's there a switch? Alright, no. Okay, we're gonna do this. I don't even want help. I don't want help. We're gonna do the this. The hint is cameras. No! Don't tell me the hint. I don't want a hint. <laughs> Is there actually a switch on the wall? That makes me makes me confused. Ah! That's some dynamite right there. So I really just want to get to that switch. Build this class, class A entertainment. Yeah, I can't get to it, though. Really, can I? <clears throat> hmm. Mm hmm. This is interesting. Attack the camera. Run, baby, run. By the mines, the switch is by. Now you guys are helping me out. So there's a mine down there. That's easy enough, I guess, huh? We can do that. Huh. Yay! Is that it? Is that all I had to do? <laughs> Now what? Now what? I hit the switch. <laughs> so it's still... <laughs> so we got one done, right? And now there's more. Oh boy. That is a... a Cheating. Okay. So the cameras are off. Wow. <laughs> Flannel shirt detectors. All right. Well, let's go. Let me go see this pad again. Here. Can't be used. You supposed to see what happens when I when I go? Just run. <laughs> okay. Wow, this guy sucks. I don't like him. More cameras. Fudge. Camera's moving. So come back further, further, more? No, it just goes back there, huh? What are we gonna do? We're just gonna run. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Well. Okay. I know, at least it's not timed. Alright, <laughs> let's try this again. Because I'm actually digging the hell out of this part. Okay. So... Camera. Is it gonna blow up still? No. Hey, jump over there. It's gotta be a switch, right? <laughs> He's a terrible jumper. He won't jump. I have to actually get on that thing. Let's go this way. it moves. We're going. I see the switch. Move. Move it. Move your ass. You go. Whew. Okay. I think we did that one. I think I did it. Oh shit. That guy was ready. He's not even that tough. That penetrated him. I'm gonna penetrate you. I'm gonna penetrate you so good. <laughs> there. You're dead. And afflicted at the same time? How'd that happen? I got filth all over me? Oh. Let's get my lore item. The filth, number one. Okay. I did that. Look at that. Place camera on the street right. Street, street right. Place camera on the street right. so bad. It only took me. How many times did I die? Was anybody counting? A lot. I died a lot. Whew. Okay. So. So we got here. All over here. Three. Oh no! You guys are fine. You're not banned. He's banned. Here we go. You provide a quality dog food and great streaming material. Thank you. Yeah, June 19th is actually the release date. Why do people come into streams and troll? That's a good question, right? I like I don't quite get that. It's the same why do they go to forums and troll? Never understand people. Jesus. Kill him. Kill him guy with your shirt. 
He's, he's getting raped. 